welcome welcome back to my channel it's jd from may and i'm back again with another video so in today's video y'all we prepping for college get to that money let's get to that money let's get to that i'm so excited y'all like i just feel like this year is going to be so good it's, it's just gonna be a great year we're speaking it into existence okay if you don't know i am a junior in college junior season get to that money let's get to that money let's get to that money let's get but yeah y'all if you don't know i am a junior this year i go to grand canyon university in arizona and i'm a criminal justice major so yeah today is friday the 19th and i move in in exactly two weeks on september 2nd we don't start school until september 6th which i know a lot of schools on this in the south where i live have already started school like a week ago i'm looking at my calendar by the way but today's the 19th we leave on the first we move in on the second we start school on the sixth so basically in this vlog we're going to be packing my car up we're packing clothes for my hair and nails for school you know getting all that beauty prep and also making a vision board for the fall semester i don't like making vision boards for the year i feel like when you make them for a season that just realigns your focus and you're focused on certain things for this certain season so yeah that's what we're going to be doing i'm actually shipping my car to arizona so it's there when i get there today's the 19th and we're shipping it on the 22nd which is monday so i gotta pack everything and i haven't started with anything i don't even know where to start y'all like i have all my clothes in my room and all the stuff that i need to bring and then i have a whole separate corner of a room downstairs that has stuff that i bought for my dorm it's complicated but we gonna get it figured out because i have till monday i keep saying i have till monday which means sunday i'm gonna be stretched trying to pack up my car but i promise i'm gonna start all right so i'm in my garage right now and i wanted to show y'all these little diy projects i've been working on for my dorm room so i bought these frames they're 20 by 30 i think from target for like 20 dollars, and they were black but my theme for my dorm room this year that bird is mad loud I'm gonna set y'all down right there, but the theme for my room is pink, gold, and white. I kind of really want my room to give like put together. Like I want like my one room to give apartment vibes. I just really want everything to really go together and just merge well. Like the dream room I have in my head, I feel like everything that I bought and like made DIY or whatever is going to is going to get hopefully. I just want a more grown feel for my room this year. So yeah. But I got this frame from Target and it was black and I spray painted it gold. So these are going to go over my bed. I spray painted three of them. So I'm going to have some pictures of me in it and then this other little poster in there. It's going to be real cute. And right here is a wooden table that I think was thrifted. I spray painted the legs gold and then the top white. Lighting's kind of bad in here, so we won't spend too much time in here. But I kind of wanted to show y'all everything that I got from my dorm. These are just things that I picked out from my dorm room over the course of the summer. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit of what I got. Not everything, but we're going to make it quick. I got this rug from Burlington. It's really cute. It's white and gold. I'm going to put it in like a corner of my room where the mirror is going to be. And that table that I showed you is going to be. I got some pillows, pink and white from Five Below. I also got this big pillow for my bed. I got this pink and white throw from Ross and I really like it because my pillows match the same type of like fuzzy fuzz it got going on. This pillow I got from Ross, it's kind of like an off-white but it has gold in it and I really wanted gold on my bed so it could tie in the gold frames that's going to be over my bed. This thing where I'm going to put my makeup brushes in and it just says dream, plan, do. It's pink and gold so it goes with the theme. I got this from Burlington. I got these frames from the dollar store. These ones are pink and gold, which go perfectly in my room. And then these are just gold. My grandma got me this cup and it's pink and gold and it goes with like the theme of my room. So I didn't want to open it till I got to college. I got these curtains from Ross. I'm going to put them over my closet. I don't think you could tell on camera, but they're like white and gold, which goes with the theme perfectly. Like I feel like I found all these items that really just go with the theme. This is the only thing that I got from TJ Maxx, but it's like this big, huge, organizer which i'm going to use as makeup storage and it's just so big y'all like this can fit all my makeup i got some more stuff like trash cans and just some more wall decor and more pillows and just little miscellaneous items but i'm not going to show y'all everything y'all can see everything and know the details of where i got it when i film my dorm tour which i'm super excited to film but 12 57 i'm about to go out right now i told y'all i was going to vacuum my car but it's on and off raining right now 
So I might just use my handheld vacuum because my car's not that dirty. I did tell y'all that I have to start packing, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later when I'm doing that. Hey y'all and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, August 21st, and we out here and we getting things done, okay? Let me give y'all a little recap. The last time I talked to y'all was Friday, August 19th. I told y'all I was going to vacuum my car. And I also said I was going to start packing, but I haven't quite gotten to it yet. <laughs> quite done any of it actually so yeah we're in a bit of a time crunch my car is getting shipped out tomorrow so yeah yeah right now I am at the car place I'm getting an oil change in my car because it needs one and also probably getting my filter changed because my filter needs to be changed too I kind of feel like this works out perfectly because I get a free vacuum and a free car wash with my oil change so I mean, this couldn't have happened on a better day. I feel like Roxy got it all together. Like, she got some new wheels. She finna get oil change. She finna get vacuum and a car wash. So now I can pack my car. It's gonna be clean and all that. So, yeah. That's what we're about to do. I have one car ahead of me. And then they finna start working on my car. p.m. and I'm packing I'm almost done packing I just have one more thing to pack which is gonna take a little bit more time and, and then I'm gonna start packing up my car but um I'm gonna give you a little overview of what I got going on but I basically put the bags like I did this little hack with the bags to where when I get to my dorm I could just hook them on and slip the trash bags off of them um that's a hack that I learned my freshman year if you don't know that hack you should definitely use it because it makes it a lot more easier to pack up your clothes but then I have like purses, accessories, socks, and then some more clothes that are folded. And then over here, I just have some swimsuits. This is my paint box. Um, this is like a miscellaneous bin. I've had this miscellaneous bin since freshman year. So I just go to college with it every time. And then that's all my nail stuff. And then this is more accessories, this right here, my bonnets and stuff. And then this is hair care and hygiene in there, hair care and hygiene in there, and then hair care and hygiene in there. I honestly keep feeling like I'm underpacked. Like I keep feeling like I'm forgetting something, but then I have to remember I'm not a freshman, I'm a junior. I have a lot of stuff in storage over there already. And I have all those items that I bought for my dorm room in that room downstairs that I showed y'all. So yeah. My closet literally looks so empty right now like y'all see that there was clothes like all over here these are my shoes right here and i'm bringing literally every single last pair and then i'm bringing some of these shoes too but my shoes are gonna take me a little minute to pack a hey, look at the room look at the room anywho <laughs> my shoes are gonna take me a little bit more to pack just because i one wipe them down but i'm not gonna wipe them down this time because i i don't have time it's 1103 well 1106 but anyways i don't have time to wipe down all the soles right now so i'm gonna just put them in bags and pack them up and then we're going to get the car packed up i didn't bring all of them but this is most of them so i'm about to put on love is blind on netflix and get to work The lighting's pretty bad, but I'm gonna just show y'all the before and after instead of the full process of filling up my car just because the process is going to be tedious. But this seat right here, it actually removes and it slides into there. That's a little pocket in there. So I'm gonna take it out just to maximize space. I just showed y'all my before, so I'm gonna come back when I got my little after and the car is packed. It's like 12 something right now, but we gonna get it done nonetheless. We gonna get it done. 
I had to come back because why did I totally forget about these frames and the fact that they have to go in the car too? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got it, we got it. We gonna figure it out. So this is how everything looks. I hope my frames don't break like this. You can't really see everything, but the front seat is kind of packed. And then the back is pretty packed with mostly my clothes, so yeah. I'm finna cut like right here because I just know my hair has grown so much. Like, ain't no need to cut it right there. I don't want to cut off no hair, you know? Mm. I love living in delusion. My hair actually might be this long, you know? You never know. Baviana. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd, by the way. We're a week and two days away from me leaving for college and a week away from my nail appointment. So we're taking my braids out and I am doing my own braids. We're saving money over here. But what I'm going to do is some small knotless some small short knotless braids with beads and I'm also going to be doing the little peekaboo pink in the back because I really love the little peekaboo pink and at my nail appointment I'm getting pink and black nails too we just gonna tie it in you know matching your hair to your nails and then most of my fits when school starts are going to be all black anyway so y'all y'all know how I get y'all know how I get it's the details but I'm telling y'all that my nail appointment is in a week because I have to do my hair myself and it takes me two days to get it done. So I'm going to have to start on my... Come in. Anyways, it takes me two days to do my nails. So I have to do my nails on like Saturday. I'm looking at my calendar by the way. I have to like start doing my hair on Saturday. Like the whole wash and parting it so it'll be done for sure by Tuesday because there's no way that I could braid up this hair with long nails. I'm finally getting my long nails back y'all. It's been a minute. I haven't got long nails since my birthday just because when I came back I had a summer job where I could not have nails at all because they would break. But yeah I just wanted to let y'all know that's where we're at right now and I'm about to finish taking down my hair. Feel me. we are done my hair literally feels so soft and healthy we love that i was also expecting my hair to grow like five inches and it didn't but i guess that's on me yeah that's on me i'm loving the little mini fro i gotta wash my hair and i also gotta go to the beauty supply store to get some pink braiding hair i already have enough black braiding hair but it's super long black braiding hair so i'm gonna have to find out how to like cut it and you know use it for the braids that I want to do since I'm doing them super short but I'm not taking y'all to the beauty supply store with me so I'll probably just see y'all when I'm doing something else school prep related or doing my hair Sometimes I wish you knew But I might disguise the truth I say I'm happy but I'm still stuck on us mm -mm -mm -mm. Does your mind play this game too? Today is Sunday, August 28th, and that means we are four days away from the flight to Arizona and two days away from my nail appointment. So that kind of means I gotta start and finish my hair today, at least get most of it done, because tomorrow I don't have my full day like I have today to do my hair. I set up my pink pieces back there, and I'm probably gonna do like two or three rows in the back pink. I washed my hair last night and just braided it up, and this morning I just brushed through it. I don't want to apply heat to my hair to do braids just because I feel like my hair lays a lot better when it's not blow dry. Yeah, I'm about to start on my hair and you know y'all gonna see the process so let's get into it. I started 
it, but it's 116 right now and I got the back done. I'm gonna dip these and add the beads later, so it's gonna look better, but I'm about to take a lunch break because I'm hungry. I'm gonna get back to doing the black parts on the rest of my hair. Hopefully I get it done today. Hopefully we can, we'll see. Hey y'all, so it's six, let me Hey y'all, so it's 6.53 and I'm finally done with the back. This is how it's looking. Can y'all see it? Yeah. I honestly feel like I should have done them a bit thinner because they are just a tad bit thick but it's okay I'm gonna dip them in water and then I'm gonna cut them to the length that I want them to they're gonna be about like this long right here so I need to cut them but y'all I'm so tired but I still gotta do the front of my hair I feel like it's gonna take me like maybe two three hours to finish the front of my hair so I should be done by like nine ish I'm gonna check back in with y'all like after when I'm putting the beads in by the way I got my mom's mirror out her room and then it literally just dropped and cracked so yeah she's had this mirror for like since I was young I've seen this mirror in her room forever and now it's cracked I don't want to find like a replacement one but we'll see I don't even know where she got this from but she's had this for a long time and I feel really bad that I cracked it hey people hey gorgeous hey y'all so it's 11 31 p.m and i literally just got done with my hair it's the fact that when i'm on campus you gonna hear jd walking up like you hear that that's the sound of JD walk up. But I like it though. I'm excited to do different styles with it. I like, I'm liking it, y'all. Yeah. And look at the parts. The parts, the parts is crisp right now. Real crisp, real crisp. It's a blessing and a curse knowing how to do your own hair. This is my third time trying to do not with shades. But dang, 10 hours? But then again, I saved a whole bunch of money doing it myself. But dang. Yo, there's no freaking way. I want to be mad, but at the same time, I can't be. But then again, I can. I just got to my nail tech's house. He texts me saying that she's not here because she is driving to the emergency room because her brother is going into emergency surgery and he got in a bad accident a couple days ago. And I'm just like... Like, of course, go there, go be there for your brother. I do the same thing, but like, dang, you are a nail tech, and I love this nail tech though, y'all. So I don't even want to speak bad on her, but at the same time, like, I get it, it's an emergency situation, but dang, like, I just drove all the way over here expecting to get my nails done, and tomorrow's my last day here. Like, I honestly can't believe it. I'm livid. I just wasted gas. Like, am I going to be compensated for the gas I just spent? <sighs> oh my goodness. I mean, honestly, I hope everything goes well with her brother and that maybe I'm able to do my nails tomorrow, but it's really going to suck having to come here tomorrow after I just drove here today. i just get, like, my packing and stuff done today so I can get my nails done tomorrow. Hey, y'all. So, I stopped at the beauty supply store to grab a couple things. Went ahead and got my mom a mirror because I broke hers while doing my hair the other day. I got some Style Factor styling gel. I use this on my edges. It's really, really good. I do want to stock up on some beauty supply store perfume oils. I have some at home, but I think I'm going to get a couple more so I can go to Arizona with them and be set just in case the beauty supply stores over there don't have it. But I feel like they should, but just in case. Here's the whole little collection they got. I was trying to show y'all the perfume oil section, but it was people looking at the perfume oils too. This girl was acting really weird about the fact that I was recording, so I felt weird. <laughs> but anywho, I got pink sugar. It was only one left, y'all. Pink sugar is like a really popular one. It smells so freaking good. It's amazing. And then I got a new scent called Beyonce Heat Rush. Never tried this one, but it smelled good, so I got it. And then I have this for real vanilla one at home, and I also have pink sugar at home, so I should be good for a minute because these will last a long time um the girl that was being weird is literally in the car right next to me anywho i'm gonna see y'all when i get home let me tell y'all something that car ride back complete silence man. i don't want to hear a thing i was just sitting there driving me in the road in the wheels and my thoughts 
I'm like getting over it now, but I was really like mad, sad, angry, sad, sad because I didn't get my nails done. Like I was expecting to get my nails done, have a bomb set, and then go get some wings. That was going to be the ideal day. Come home, do some laundry, packing up, you know, stuff like that. But no, that's not how my day went. She did say she was sorry in the text. But I'm hoping that that sorry comes with some compensation because if I say, hey, I'm sorry I'm late, I'm still getting charged a late fee. So I just feel like she should compensate me for my time and gas and money and gas. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day and it's Wednesday, August 31st, which means we're leaving tomorrow, y'all. Good money. Let's get to that money. Let's get to that money. I'm super excited. Um, I got a lot of packing done yesterday and I basically made a list of everything that I have to just throw in my suitcase. So all that is going really well. I was able to find a nail tech that was able to do a squeezing appointment this morning at 10. So it's 9.33 right now and I'm about to head over there. I'm currently outside of Target. I'm about to get a drink and get some cash back and then I'm gonna head over and get my nails done. This is a nail tech that, I'm, that I know. She does really good nails and I've been wanting to go to her for a while. I just never did since I had my nail tech that I went to but she hasn't texted me back. But I'm about to go in here, get this cash back and then we finna head to the nail appointments. please look at my nails are these not the cutest things ever like this is such a five step oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness like when i say she did that y'all oh my hey y'all i'm back home and i done got comfy and i'm changing to a sports bra instead of an actual bra i'm comfy real comfy my camera cut off when I was in the car showing y'all my nails but I put pictures to show y'all I really really love them like they're giving exactly what I wanted them to give they match with my hair if you're in the Atlanta area metro Atlanta area you need to book with Miracle because that was my first time booking with her and it's definitely not my last like she's probably going to be the person I go to when I'm down here in Atlanta because it gave it gave <laughs> Tell me why I started my period when I was in her chair though. That sucked because I knew like y'all first second days of my period are so bad. I don't know how I'm gonna travel tomorrow but we gonna make it do what we gotta do. <sighs> like on moving weekend? Why? Why Lord? Why? My stomach's currently cramping. I just took four leave. But I did get some food though. I got me some wings and fries. Let me show y'all. Honey lemon pepper and hot lemon pepper. I think I've been telling y'all about this for a minute, but y'all should definitely try it. But I'm tired. My body's aching right now because of my period. So I'm about to eat and then lay down for a little bit with a heating pad to my stomach. And then we're going to get up and do everything else we have to do for back to school prep, which isn't much. But we're going to get that done after I have a minute to like relax.
All right, y'all, so I just finished doing my fall 2022 vision board. I used Canva to make it. It turned out really cute, so I'm happy with it. My summer vision board, I used Pixar, and it was so complicated because it only lets you use 10 pictures, so I'm glad I used Canva this time. But I'm about to show y'all everything on it and basically explain it. So as you can see, I set it as my screensaver for my iPad just because I'm on my iPad a lot. If I could do the same thing for my computer, I will, but my computer is a Chromebook, so... And I'm on my iPad more anyways during school time, but let me pull up the picture. So this is what it looks like as y'all can see. I have two Bible verses on there. I always try to incorporate a Bible verse into my vision boards because the vision is really nothing without Jesus. And I usually pick one or two Bible verses that really are sticking with me through a season. And this season is be still and know that I'm God and faith without works is dead. I have a lot of faith that God is going to give me the desires of my heart as long as I keep, you know, working on it and just keep him first and, you know, keep him above all. Um, but sometimes I don't put that work in. <laughs> that's a verse that's kind of on my heart this season. Just faith without works is dead. So know that I have to work for everything that I have faith in God for. And then there's Psalm 46, 10, which says, be still and know that I am God. Even though I'm trying to do work along with my faith this season. Oh my gosh, I need some chapstick. Okay, I'll get some later. But even though I'm trying to do work along with my faith this season, sometimes I try to do so much work and sometimes I just need to be still. So. In this season, especially this next season of my junior year, I know that I have to put in work, but I also need to be still. So I, I'm going to have to find that balance between doing the work that's required and trusting God to do the rest. So right here in the middle, consistency. I know that I need to say consistent, so that's why it's there. Um, I also want to start eating healthier, working out, and drinking a lot more water. When I'm at school, I feel like I can be so much better with like my diet and exercising, especially exercising because the gym is free and it's available. And when I'm at home, I have to like drive to the gym. I've been lacking this summer low key. Like I started off so strong and now I'm like, uh, I ain't been to the gym in a minute, but we're planning on getting it all right when I start school. And I don't know, me in school y'all, from September to February, JD's in her prime. Like. I'll be on it with everything. Be up early working out. Be on my on my grind with school, with work. Like, yeah. She be in her bag. And she got these nails. Oh, yeah. She finna be in her bag for real. 4.0 on your neck. Anywho, I'm gonna rush through the rest of this. Um, I have this just to remind me of YouTube. I love doing it and I'm gonna be vlogging this year. So just have fun with it. As you can see, I'm smiling. A plus because as I said... I'm on your neck 4.0 and this is just a studying aesthetic because I need to be studying and I know that I'm gonna have a lot of study dates with my friends. Um, I have this picture of just, um, it's a clothing rack but you can't tell it's a clothing rack but it has the jackets and shoes on it and it's just because I want to get more into fashion and fashion content so that's a nice reminder. And then this right here says study hard, sleep well, eat plants, work out, don't compare and be happy which period that's what we're doing all semester. And this right here is just a reminder of like brand deals and packages. I've been on my grind with this and I'm really excited to where that's going to take me. That's a nice little reminder. Right here is a black woman. She's just sitting in the sun enjoying her a nice cup of champagne, wine, whatever that is. But that's just my reminder to relax. Although I'm trying to put work in, although I'm trying to be consistent, although I'm trying to, you know, do all these other things. Um, that have to do with the bettering of me and the bettering of my career. I need to find time to just relax in the sun and do things that make me happy. So that's that reminder. That is my whole vision board for fall 2022. Um, this is a reminder of like basically all the goals that I have for myself and the life that I'm envisioning for my fall 2022 semester. So yeah, I'm super, super excited. And I really, really can't wait to like, you know, succeed in everything that I put my mind to this year. So yeah y'all that is my fall 2022 vision board um i'm super happy that i made it by the way if you were wondering i got all my inspo from pinterest and then the ones that were of me were obviously from my camera roll but yeah so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here y'all over the course of this vlog we did a lot getting ready for school and i'm super excited i literally leave tomorrow y'all my flight is like at 7 7 20 a.m so 
yeah i'm excited and i'm super excited to bring y'all along throughout the whole thing like i'm bringing y'all along through packing moving first day my first week and hopefully along throughout the year so y'all can grow with me and just experience new experiences with me so i'm super 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 excited about that definitely take some time whether you're in college or high school or middle school watching this or past that grad school whatever take some time to reflect on this new season you're going into and just really like ask yourself like what are the goals that i want to achieve before this what are the things i need to do to get prepared and do it okay it starts with a plan what's that verse what's that verse i'm gonna put it up on the screen because i don't remember it dang i need to start remembering verses it's a verse that says write down the vision and make it plain i think it's habakkuk it isn't habakkuk i know that much but write down the vision and make it plain i know what the vision is for my fall semester wrote it down and I'm making it plain through pictures on my vision board and that's what I'm gonna see every time I look at my iPad doing a homework assignment or just doing anything on my iPad so yeah y'all I really do hope that y'all enjoyed this video if y'all did enjoy it give it a big like for me also comment down below and subscribe to the channel because if you're not a J baby what are you doing what are you doing come join the family but I will see y'all in my next video bye